Hey guys, good morning. I caught up about an hour ago and started doing my makeup, so that was an interesting experience in the truck because as you probably well know, if you're used to doing your makeup, is lighting's everything. And while these really bright white lights can be a good thing, they can also cast a lot of shadows and you think you have something straight and then you don't. So it can be a major problem trying to do your makeup. So anyway, the dilemma I'm facing right now is I have to use the bathroom. I've done OTR before. This is the part I've been dreading is that I don't mean number one. That's all I'm going to say. I am like the farthest spot in this truck stop because there wasn't much parking last night. So my idea for parking up close didn't work out, obviously. So I am dreading walking through like the straightest path to the truck stop is between trailers in the dark. I mean, this place is huge. It's like walking around a football arena just to walk around the long way and get up to where the bathrooms are. So I gotta make a choice on if I'm gonna walk between trailers. Don't mean to scare you, but be careful. Maybe think twice before you walk alone. Call somebody to take you. Okay guys, it always pays to call the shipping facility if you have a number and there's question on how to get in because I was looking last night and this is a storefront, no docks. I called them and I followed the directions to the T on the map last night. Google Street View, satellite, like everything. I just try to play it safe and get a heads up before, kind of pre-drive it before I'm ever there type of thing. It's just a better bet. You know, a lot of truckers are like, oh yeah, I don't need to do that. I just show up and improvise. That's a recipe for an accident. I'm sorry. You know, some streets you could try to improvise and it's a dead end street. What the hell are you going to do? You're going to now have to back down the street and potentially cause an accident, even if you are a good driver. So no. So I decided to call my directions to the T said, look for 708 right off the street and pull in, like literally pull into the storefront. And I'm like, this is fishy. There's cars there. Like there's no place for a truck. So I'm glad I called. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to go down the street, preferably another block, and then circle around, come down another side street. That way you can drive your side back in down from the street, down the parking lot. So I am so glad I called. So now I'm gonna use this time to email my dispatcher, give them an update for other drivers so that they have a heads up and we don't have accidents on our company record anywhere. Even though I'm a least purchased driver, I, hey, I, or at the company. So no, I don't want to see any other, other drivers have a bad day. So I'm going to email him and then look at satellite view and kind of plan my route on how I'm going to get into this place. Look over your shoulder when you go that way. This world might take you to a bad, bad place.
my gum hang on okay so the update as of right now I got delayed on my delivery number one this morning because the road that I called ahead for was a was not a road sufficient for trucks so went to go get in the other road that we could come in on the road was closed and nobody knew that it was closed so I got all tangled up back there and couldn't get turned around because the freaking Road number one didn't work. Road number two was closed and basically dead end. So I ended up having to get PD out there to help me navigate to figure this out. So I got very lucky. They were really cool. Oh my God. I cannot believe my morning. So I tried everything. Like I was calling. Even PD didn't realize that road was closed. So they were directing trucks down there and the road was closed. So it was truly a legitimate mess. I got to my delivery. It was just a little bit late by like 45 minutes. <laughs> it was a mess. It was a mess. So now I'm at delivery number two and um, I am trying to communicate with the broker right now, um, which I actually prefer. My dispatch said, you know, hey, if you don't mind, um, I'm kind of tied up. Would you deal with the broker and kind of keep them updated? So I'm good with that. It cuts out a middleman. So um, so I've been calling, staying in touch with the broker for my next load. They're unloading me now here. I don't know how long it's going to take them. And personally, I don't want to push them here. I want to be, I don't want to keep coming up and like bugging them how long it's going to take because I'm the one that was late this morning, even though it wasn't my fault. I'm still thinking customer service, you know, bottom line, truck driver is late. So, uh, they're going to take their time, unload as they need. It looks like they're unloading me and then putting like every item onto trucks as they unload so it's a process but um yeah so in the meantime i'm staying in touch with the broker trying to figure out my next move i am looking at google maps like every other road here exit is closed here in dallas fort worth and as you guys know traffic's crazy so my quickest route to the next pickup is going to be to go east and go south on 820 the bypass the problem is they've got a couple exits closed so you got to take like the last exit the last exit has an incredibly tight turn that I would even be nervous with a day cab making that turn and it's all concrete barrier up in the air off the interstate it's like a side road and I am not cool with this that's all I need is to get tangled up and can't get off the highway so I found a U-turn down here that's got plenty of clearance for a semi and plenty of room. So I have to get out here, go east, pull a U-turn under the overpass, go back to the west, and then find the exit for I-35 um, W, go south, and then catch Interstate 20 back to the east, and then it should be a straight shot Interstate 20 to the side road, which turns into an industrial park. And from there on, my next two stops should be all wide turn industrial made for trucks.
I have to show this. There is a giant bunny, yo. There is a giant bunny with a carrot over by Fuel City. That is freaking awesome. Move ahead. Oh, my pretty babe. Something ain't right. Got to find a way to move ahead. So I made it to delivery pickup. I made it to my third stop. I've done two deliveries already today. It's been a very long day, but I am excited. Like so far, I am so impressed with how well RTI has been communicating. And like I said earlier, dispatch where he's tied up with something. He's like, do you mind just communicating with the broker on this one? I'm like, no, I prefer that. That's like, that's great. Cuts out a middleman. So just talked to the broker and kept him updated. So I'm here for pickup 30 minutes early. Always try to give people a little more time. I should say always give people your worst case scenario time. So if it was Dallas, Fort Worth, rush hour traffic, give them that ETA that way. If all else fails, you're 15 to 30 minutes early. You know, you gotta be careful with that too because some places don't have parking if you're too early, but. Yeah, so we are early. I'm gonna wait to get loaded. We're sitting at six hours and 46 minutes on the time clock for today. It is about time for the storms to start going crazy. So after we get loaded here, we are going to hit the road and try to head up through Oklahoma. We're gonna be taking 75 and then 69, it looks like, up to the north ultimately through like prior Oklahoma, all of that back to 44 and then into Missouri. So we will see how that one goes, but see how far, basically today's going to be a game of, you know, see how far north you can go. That's one of the first things I communicated with the broker today was finding out, okay, on my delivery, do we have any window on delivery? Is me being pinched on time going to hurt your delivery times, you know, or can you guys work around it? They think they can work around it. So the main thing in this game is don't let it stress you out. Communicate. Just communicate. I mean, traffic, accidents, there's things that aren't, you know, your fault. They're unavoidable. And if you've already planned well, giving yourself hours of extra time and, you know, style the highways shut down or whatever, you know, it's not your fault. Just communicate and everything just smooth sailing from there. So no stress, no stress. <laughs> never a good sign. I realized when it had light in the name that this could not be good. No, it's never light if it says light. And whenever they have a scale, they, they want to weigh you pre and post loading. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's going to be a heavy load. I'm not where I'm supposed to be. I'm going in circles, going in circles I should get away from here There's a better place for me, better place for me Trying to play my symphony But there's so much noise around 
So much noise around, constantly fighting for space. I need to clear my mind, need to clear my mind. I wanna be empty, be empty.